Hey everyone, it's Natalie at Reverb, and today we are checking out the new Korg Op 6. FM synthesis can feel super daunting with the complex sounds and algorithms, but the Korg Op 6 is super intuitive, just like many of the other Korg products. And the onboard layout is super intuitive and clear, especially great for live performance. Um, there are about 200 presets and you can save up to 500. And of course you can go super deep with the synth and create your own algorithms and soundscapes. Let's start with the six operators. Uh, you have your knobs to change your pitches and frequencies and the nice sparkly sounds. And also you have your sliders for your volume or level. So when we're looking at the op six, you see these pink and purple lights. When the knobs on the operator mixer are pink, those turn into your carriers. And I like to think of those as just uh, your oscillators. Um, and then your purple is your modulator. And based on whatever algorithm you're going through, which you can also, you know, you see it either in your presets or you can make your own algorithms, or there's even a randomizer to make totally random algorithms. The sliders are your volume. All right, so let's turn them all down. We know our pinks are functioning as our carriers. So let's hear one at a time. Okay, there's one. Oscillator is kind of how I think about it. Carrier, right? Here's the second one. So it's basically changing kind of the pitch or the frequency or octave even. Now the purple is functioning as your modulator, so it's just gonna add some characteristics to it. And of course, I can just do this to one carrier. Or to the other. Or to both. And then we can also add these other three operators. Okay, so if we are in a preset, for example, this is the MS-20 Poly Cascade. I just hit yes to select that. And then this algo button, which is for algorithm, will change what becomes uh, the operator carrier or modulator. So we can look at the lights as I'm turning this and you can also hear it. And of course, in, this, in the analyzer, you can see what the algorithm shape looks like and also see it on the lights of the operator. Look at that pretty pattern. As you can see with FM synthesis, it's really great not only for you know your regular songwriting, um, but so awesome for sound design, for video games, for film. Um, you can get super textural with it. Like a lot of Korg synths, uh, this also has an analyzer. It's just one simple button to press it, which is also a super great learning tool when you're manipulating synths. So changing uh, the program to another one. This one's called Membrane Pluck. Um, you hit yes. Let's go into our board here. As you can see on our screen, we have our usual attack, how quickly a sound happens and decay how long or fast it takes to release the sound. So these six 
six knobs can also change um, their assignment to different parameters. Right now we were playing around with the attack and the decay, but I can change the filter. There's our cutoff. Resonance. Also add effects. Um, there are three spots actually for effects on this synth, and within those three, there are 30 different effects you can assign. So let's say effects one, let's make that a reverb effect. We got tape echo. We have a Poly 6 filter, an MS-20 filter. And then we have the Poly 6. And then, of course, with these six a through F data entry knobs, you can also dig deeper into these into the operator options with clicking you know on the mode, this pitch, level. you can see everything visually again in the analyzer and that really helps. This also has an arpeggiator and a 16 step sequencer and you can record your own sequences. There's a latch button to hold down the arpeggiator. Hands free. <laughs> FM synthesis give you so many sounds. You can have your percussion sounds, you can have your, you know, sparkly twinkle sounds and your main melodic lines all programmed directly into your sequencer. So for live performance, if you had something like this going, your, your full jam. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Forgot about the eight, that was a surprise. Um, then you can just focus on manipulating the operators and changing your sound, taking bass, in and out, adding more sparkles. There's sparkles. Characteristic of FM synths, right? There's also this great little dice looking button that's the randomizer button. So if you ever encounter writer's block, you just press this, you hit yes. I do want to randomize the program. Let's see what algorithm I have now. Oh, maybe I'm inspired now. Let's see, randomize, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> The 
Korg Op 6 is really a synth you should have in front of you. It's incredibly affordable, especially for an FM synth. You have unlimited things you can do with it. I'm going to run you through a couple more sounds, and I'll see you next time at Reverb.